next morning morning from in front room so today is friday april 12th i have three babies today how do i keep them occupied you ask um i have a rocker we have two bumps and chairs but they enjoy playing on the mat most of the time there's not much you know needed for them because you want to put them on the mat and they have toys they're good to go um and lately i noticed that they have not been long enough though but I guess that's great for the parents because in time they go home, they should sleep longer, hopefully. But apart from that, you know, we keep them busy and they will keep us busy. Of course, there will be times when they're all crying at the same time and it's chaotic, but that's all part of the, the process. Also, Thursday and Friday videos will be compiled and posted on Sundays. That's how that will work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Time to feed the baby. Feeding babies with a bottle is the most common thing ever. Like, I don't know, it's just so relaxing. Anybody else find it relaxing? I don't know, I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's my jam. Mm -hmm. Well, the ones that will just lay there and just drink the bottle, that's my jam. That's my jam. So, the first one is getting fed. Then we have baby number two. Um, Keeping her a little occupied with her snacks until it's her turn. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Yummy in my tummy. Madam, we can't be throwing away the snacks. You have to eat your snacks. Yes, you have to eat your snacks. Uh huh. Yummy in my tummy. Okay, so Madam Lady didn't want the puree, so we gave her a bottle. She took the bottle, obviously. Who wouldn't want a bottle? Um, so, all right, see, bottle's done. Madam Lady, are you gonna take a nap or are you gonna play? Do, do you wanna take a nap? Do you wanna take a nap? Are you tired? Let's see if I rock. Oh, let's see. Oh, she, she's. She's sleeping. Love that for me. All right, I'll check back in after I put her down. Okay, it's outdoor playtime. Love that for the kiddos. Meanwhile, it's sleep time for the babies. I have one more baby to come in, but the rest are asleep. The kiddos are outside playing. We have blackout no electricity none at all none at all absolutely no current hopefully electricity come back on before nap time but thankfully today is a um cool day so the children should be cool at nap time so we're gonna try and feed the baby again but this time with banana let's see open open come 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 no 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 Nom 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 nom. Tastes nice? Yes, 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 yes. Come on. Come on. Mmm, yummy. I'm gonna put she in a chair because she can't run away from me.
Okay, let's touch my back. <laughs> Okay, so this is the last video for the infant room. The infants were good today. Two of them are asleep. The other baby, I was trying to feed her the puree. She fights me, so I guess she really don't want it today. So now she's now grubbing on some strawberries. Um, and the rest of the day for the infant room would be repetitive. So it doesn't make sense to continue filming that. So that's it for infant room. Bye. Okay, so this is the infant room at the end of the day. This is the kitchen at the end of the day. And this is the toddler's room after the day has ended. The staff has tidied up the place and the kitchen. So that's, you know, very much appreciated. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Let's chat, let's chat, let's chat. I have my mic on, guys. Yay, I have my mic on. I had a mic all the time, but I just wasn't able to um, go and look for it. But I said, okay. I'm gonna need a mic especially for this scene at the end of the videos and stuff you know to hear me better it's better to have a mic so we're gonna talk about burnout okay um, little backstory as I said in my previous video I am a daycare owner um, my only stream of income is my childcare business and I am all of the things I am the accountant I'm the planner I'm the provider I am the leader I'm a wife I'm a daughter, I'm a lot of things. So, as you can imagine, my plate is full. And this is year three, as I said, and I've been going from the time I opened the business to now. And I'm at the, the space where I'm just like, okay, this is not gonna work if I'm just going, 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 and I'm not pouring back into myself. I need to take breaks. So, I've decided to take Sundays off. Like, I need Sundays completely free I don't care what is happening I needed to be free um, and I'm also a very introverted person so that means I'm normally peopled out throughout the week because my house is always filled with children and my staff and then um, on the weekends we have church and different activities and so I'm always in people's presence so I need time for me to just you know unwind and just be alone and just uh, just gather myself to go again so Sundays today is my rest day like I'm doing nothing apart from the things that I want to do on Sundays also this week I have decided to give my staff off days because just like me they can be burnt out as well because working with children can be stressful as much as it, it is a fun job it is a lot so I realized that you know if I'm tired, my staff must be tired. So my staff has off day this week. Um, well, this week, next week, we have off days for them because they also need to take time off to do the things that they want to do, to rest, to recoup, and then come back in. Because if we are all burnt out, we cannot be loving, we cannot be um, playful with the kids. We, you know, we don't just be like, you know, anxious so we don't want that we want to make sure that our service that we provide is top-notch and we want to make sure that you know our mental health are being taken care of so my tip to any person who want to become an entrepreneur or any person who's currently an entrepreneur i advise you to take time off to just pour into yourself i know that you want to focus on getting money you want to focus on building your clientele but if you don't pour into yourself you're not going to be 
um, your best self to pour into the business. You're not going to be able to have creative juices. If you don't take a, a, a break, a breather, if you don't take a, a vacation time off just to just relax and just focus on you, you're not going to provide the best service. I promise you, you are not going to enjoy the process. Once you take time for you, you will kind of like build a balance where you're like, okay, I look forward to going to work tomorrow because I took this time off to just focus on me and then I can go into work tomorrow and do the best that I can. And then you just continue to keep that routine. And I promise you, you will be successful in your business. So let's chat in the comments. I will see you in my next video. Bye.